Hi, kindergartners. Today for math, I have the idea of pretending like we were in the classroom again and doing the assignment together. So rather than having mom or dad read you the story problems, I'm going to read it to you while you do it on your paper. So today I want you to grab the paper that says strategy check number two, and it has a big square on it. And then on the back of it is another strategy test strategy check too. And these are just story problems for you to show me how well you are doing. So today I want you to take a picture of one of these story problems and have mom and dad send it to me on dojo. Okay. So we're on the first one where it has number 301, 301 on the side. You're going to do this first one. I'm going to read the story problem to you and I want you to draw the picture and find the answer. And if you do an equation, that would be really cool too. Okay, here's the story problem. It says there are 10 children on the playground. I miss going to the playground. We'll have it back sometime. But there are 10 children on the playground. Remember, if I go too fast, pause the video, draw your 10 children, and then press play again. Okay, 10 children are playing on the playground and three children went home. How many children are left on the playground? I'm going to say the story problem again and then I'm going to move on to the next one. 10 children are playing on the playground. Then three went home. How many children are left on the playground? Okay, pause the video if you're not ready. I turn the page. And I am back on the other side of the 10 children now. For this one, you're gonna draw a picture and you're going to fill in the missing numbers in the equation, okay? Let's do it. Remember, this is all on your own. All right, there are 13 ducks in a pond. Can you draw me 13 ducks? Okay, after you've drawn 13 ducks, if you haven't finished drawing them yet, press pause. When you're ready, press play. Now down here, it wants you to write the equation that shows 13, but 10 has to be one of your numbers. So you drew 13 ducks. I want you to circle 10 ducks and then write the equation that matches your picture. Okay, I'm gonna explain that one more time. You drew 13 ducks. Now circle 10 of them. That doesn't mean you're putting a circle around 10. You're putting a, one big circle or with 10 ducks inside of it. Okay? And then you're fi finishing the equation that goes down here. So you need to write the first square is how many ducks are in one circle and how many ducks are not in the circle all together they equal 13. All right, make sure you take a picture of one of those sides. I know I said they were story problems at the beginning, but pick which one or both of them if you want to send them to me. And then the rest of your assignment, your math assignment today is just more of a review because we're at that point in the school year where we would be getting ready for testing. And so we're doing lots of reviews to make sure you are really good and solid with these strategies, with these um, lessons. So we have our tiny tumblers here. Remember our tiny tumblers are at the top of the mountain and some tumble on one side and then others tumble on the other side. So on this page, you need to do two things, okay? Remember the top of our mountain, tells us how many tiny tumblers there are supposed to be in all. On one side, it tells you the number four and it has four tiny tumblers. You need to count on to how many tumblers need to be on the other side to equal the number at the top of the mountain. So if I have four, I count on five, six. How many tiny tumblers are on that side? Two. So there I fill in the equation and I wrote my partners of six, four plus two. Let's do this next one, it's still six. How many tiny tumblers are on this side? Three, so I need to count on to six. Four, five, six. How many tiny tumblers did I draw? Three, right? So I put them down right there. Good job. Parents, what I need you to do, this is a big page. If your child is getting overwhelmed or frustrated, 
have them do one and have them do a row and then take a break and maybe do a little bit each day. Or after they do a row, they get to pick three problems that they get to cross out and they don't have to do. Figure out what works. If your child um, is struggling, then simplify it. That's what I do in class. Okay, on the other side is our other writing to 100. This is going to be, is it vertical? No, yeah, vertical. So you're going down, writing to 100. Again, parents, break this up over days, over time, um, whatever you need to do um, to help them finish it. It's just what I would do in class. All right, kindergartners, remember to send me a picture of either the story problem about the 10 children or the 13 ducks. All right, have a good day. Keep working hard.